Alright guys, today I have a new video for you here. This is going to be on my uh, Galaxy Note 3 and I'm going to show you um, an update that Hashcode has put out for SafeStrap. So it's really cool and it does a couple new, two, two, basically two new things. So that's what I'm going to try to show you today. So right here I'm running a stock ROM, I think this is Beans ROM, that's what I've got installed right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the device restart and obviously I'm running on the safe system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install um, the new safe strap on your device and show you the features in it and this is safe strap 3.70 so you can see Samsung Galaxy Note 3 it does say custom because I've modified some things on it um, when you see the splash screen here we're going to go into recovery so hit the recovery button and you saw it was in green because like I said I'm running a ROM slot and we're going to go into recovery quick. We got to switch back to our stock ROM once recovery boots up and boot back into that so we can um, uninstall current safe strap and install a new one. So let's go to boot options, stock, activate, back out. See everything's in red now. Reboot system. And this will get you back into your stock operating system on your device. So you can already see this looks more normal and it is themed though even the stock slot right now I do have themed it does look like a Nexus 5 more or less but you can see this different um, so we're just going to go into our apps and we're going to go find a safe strap right there it is and you can see that it says it's on 3.65 and it's installed we're going to go ahead and say uninstall recovery and let the recovery uninstall okay and then I've already downloaded the, um, the ROM or I should say the new safe strap app and where's my file browser at here I like using ES file browser if I can find the thing there it is and I'm going to show you guys really quick the uh, download here not, not now download and I've downloaded it into downloads. Always recommend uh, downloading SafeStrap to your device um, instead of your computer. It just downloads better and it always downloads as an APK when it downloads to a device. When it downloads to your computer, sometimes it downloads as a zip and then it's in the wrong format. So you can see all my stuff's updating because I haven't been in here in a while. Go ahead and say yes in settings. Go to allow unknown sources. Yes. Install. And this is installing, like I said, the safe strap that is 3.70 and then as soon as it's done installing we will uh, open it so open grant super user permission not installed go ahead and install okay and then you can see we're on that new version 3.70 go ahead and reboot to recovery and it was updating stuff but I was in the middle of it don't matter now this time you don't have to hit that splash screen because it, I told to reboot to recovery straight from the application it'll boot right into recovery alright so here we go and just go back to your boot up menu activate your ROM that you were running before back out and then we'll do a reboot now this time I'm going to show you something how this works so it's pretty cool basically what you do is if you ever want to get into stock system whenever you're booting your device up and you don't want to just go into safe strap re-enable stock and do go through that whole process whenever you see that splash screen all you got to do is hit your home button and you just hold it for a second and it is now going to boot your stock ROM not your ROM, your uh, ROM slot. So anytime you do a reboot, if you want to get into stock ROM, it's very simple. Just hold your home button and you'll be back in here. Even though you saw me activate the other ROM, and this is only this is temporary too. So if we do really quick, did a power off, restart, 
normally you know if you're on a stock ROM you gotta go back into recovery you gotta reactivate it and so on and so forth to get back to your ROM slot well you don't because that is only temporary so only when you hit that splash screen if you hit that home button will it get you to stock ROM I've been looking for something like this for a while and I'm really excited that it's that this is feature is in here now so super pumped about that so like you said right here you're gonna see it's just gonna boot back to your ROM slot it's just a temporary way to boot into um, stock ROM slot without going through your whole recovery setup and reactivating the slot so one time use you do it again right now it would do it again or you can just reboot and you'll be back to your ROM so this is awesome huge improvement I love this feature hash code this is great 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 improvement I uh, just want to point out so here you go there's the beans ROM boot animation that this is my S4 right here and it also functions on this device same way uh, just update safe strap same way I just showed you and um, it'll do the exact same exact same uh, startup stuff so you'll be able to just hold your home button on your device and get right into your stock system very simply and easily um, on your device so very very cool huge improvement for for safe strap I absolutely love it if you got me a button to like pick which ROM slot I wanted to do that'd be even cooler on the splash screen but this is huge I love it um, that's pretty much it guys that's gonna be how to update your safe strap on either of these devices the Verizon Galaxy S uh, Galaxy Note 3 or the Verizon Galaxy S4 um, they both have the same version of safe strap just make sure you download the right safe strap for your device I will go ahead and put links to those two safe strap versions in this video description so you guys can get them downloaded. I uh, hope you guys like this video on safe strap. Big props to Hashcode again, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.